Hey everyone, your girl Shana J here with another video. So today's video is a special kind of video. Um, I call it special because I've never seen this type of video before. Not to say it doesn't exist here on YouTube, it most likely does, but I've never seen it. Um, and that's probably because I've never gone looking for a video like this one. But nonetheless, I think it's gonna be a very interesting type of video. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys is a couple of perfumes, a couple of fragrances from my collection that I consider to be unisex. Now the catch is a couple of these fragrances are marketed as women fragrances. Some of them are marketed as unisex fragrances. And I have one that is marketed as a male fragrance but I think a woman could rock it because it just smells that type of way. So let me get into this list. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you guys is this one. It is called Incredible Things by Miss Taylor Swift. And I really like this one. It is a sexy scent. And I'm going to tell you guys what I imagine when I smell this one. I'm, gonna be, I'm about to be explicit. So, you know, you were warned. All right, girls. So, imagine that you you know you take a shower afterwards you decide to put on some really nice vanilla type scents your man comes over he's smelling good he's smelling like nice clean cologne you guys start making out you know you do the do afterwards this is what your sheet would smell like so it's just such a beautiful sexy scent a man could pull this off a woman could easily pull this off. It's a great scent. Like I said though, it is um, geared towards women, but I think a guy could easily pull this off. So it is called Incredible Things by Miss Taylor Swift. And there's something interesting about this bottle that I want to show you guys. There's a little head right here, right? I don't know if it's supposed to be Taylor Swift, but I thought it was very interesting that it is blue. Um, there's nothing to really indicate that this is a woman until you turn it to the side then you see that she has a little bun and I'm wondering if this is a little subliminal message maybe it's her way of saying there's some you know there's something masculine about the scent yeah it's feminine because we got all the flowers but you know she's very you know hair is pulled back um, and it's just it, it to me you know I may be reading into it too much but that's how I read it but yeah guys, this one is beautiful. The second one that I'm gonna show you is this one. It is called Obsession Nights by Calvin Klein. And when I picked this one up, I was really looking forward to it. Not that I don't like it, but I was like, oh my God, it smells a bit too masculine for me. Um, it's very citrusy, a tad bit floral very woodsy it's it's musky it's a nice scent but i think you know a girl could easily pull this off a woman could easily pull this off i see a career type of woman wearing this one like a woman dressed in a in a suit could pull this one off it's um it's pretty it pretty much smells like a daytime type of perfume i don't know why they would call it night but yeah it's a nice clean crisp Type of, type of scent I could see a guy wearing this one also a guy that is freshly shaved you know he's wearing a button down um, and you know he's just looking clean and smelling clean so this is what I get from this one and um, as it dries down it gets a little bit I guess sweet and that's from maybe vanilla so yeah I think this one could could have been considered unisex Okay, so the third one I'm going to show you is one that I truly love and it's been around forever and um, it is this one. It is called Classic. So it is called Classic by Banana Republic. I love this one. It smells very clean, very fresh, spicy and um it really smells soapy it has that soapy kind of vibe like that you just took a shower i really love this kind of scent it smells very floral i think it smells very floral um if i would say if i would tend to one way i would say it's a little bit i would say it's a little bit 
more masculine when you just put it on but as it dries down it dries down a little bit more feminine but a man or woman could absolutely pull this one off i love it i wear this one and i'm pretty sure a guy could pull this one off it is called classic by banana republic the fourth one I'm going to show you guys is this one, another one that I really love. It's in my top 10 favorites. It is called Warm Cutting and this one is by, um, this is from the Clean Line. This one is a fresh, clean laundry type of smell. So a guy or a girl could easily pull this one off, no problem. This is what my husband also wears. He smells it on me once and he was like, can I have it? Um, I have two bottles of this, so I gave him one. He wears it. He keeps it in his car to freshen up. And I also wear this one. Really nice scent. And I think it's also good for layering because it has that laundromat, that clean laundry kind of vibe. It goes well with different clean scents. Okay, so the other one that I'm going to show you guys is this one. It is called Rebel by Rihanna. And I've had this one for a couple of years. This one has a very interesting kind of smell. It's very unique. Um, at first, when you spray it out, it's very it's a gourmand scent. So it has cocoa absolute. It has coffee, amber, patchouli, musk. Very heavy, intense scent. Better not to wear this one in the office. It's better at. I think it's a better nighttime type of scent. Um, if you're going to the club. It would be perfect because it could bother some people but um, yeah it starts out very feminine very um, sweet but as it starts to dry down that patchouli comes through the coffee comes through and make it a bit more masculine and this is one I also gave to my husband because he thinks it smells a little bit masculine also um, guys, if you're thinking about getting this one, I would say to get it, but you know, just put this one, you know, in your bottom drawer in case your boys come over. This is the last thing they want to see, especially if you're, you know, a bachelor and you can't blame this one on your woman or, you know, who knows, but yeah, it's very feminine. It's a very feminine bottle. It's supposed to be the bottom of a stiletto, but it's, it has a very strong scent. It reminds me of like... A Tom Ford type of scent. It doesn't smell similar to it, but it has the same kind of vibe as this one, Tom Ford Noir. It has that same kind of vibe because um, if you smell this one, you know that it's. Um, I guess it's. It ends off a bit sweet and woodsy, and it's to me it's similar to that one. It doesn't smell similar, but it has the same vibe. If you understand what I'm trying to say. All right, so. The other one I'm going to show you is this one. It's called Eau de Cartier. And I absolutely love this one. It's a fresh, spicy scent. Very simplistic kind of scent. This is perfect for the office. Perfect for daytime wear. Um, it's very, it smells very floral at first. Then it goes down. Then as it's starting to dry down, you get more of that woodsy type of vibe. A little powdery, but it's beautiful. I have smelled this one on guys. I wear this myself. It smells great on both sexes. And yeah, this one is a this is actually marketed as a unisex scent. So a guy or a woman could, you know, easily wear this one. So this is all the cards here. Alright, the other one that I'm gonna show you is this one. And this is called Voyage de Hermes. I love this one. It's a fresh clean scent and you know what it's a bit similar um to this one so it's not similar but it has the same feel the same vibe that fresh clean spicy a tad bit floral type of scent um very alluring it smells great on women it smells great on men this is the edp by the way if you care to know so yeah and this one um is actually a unisex scent so beautiful scent okay so the last one i'm gonna show you is this one and this one is marketed as a guy's cologne but i love it so much every single time my husband sprayed on i always ask him what he's wearing because it smells like something i could wear also so this one is black by kenneth cole it's a wonderful scent it's very citrusy um, spicy it's fresh smelling I don't know if it smells black to me it kind of doesn't smell black it smells a little bit too fresh and clean 
and light and airy to call to be called black I think a woman could wear this one if she's that type of female where she's not scared to smell a little you know a little masculine but I think a guy smelling this one is also very awesome and um, I love it black by Kenneth Cole okay guys so that's it for me let me know what your favorite unisex scent is I enjoyed doing this video it was very different for me it wasn't easy but you know I did it anyway guys that's it for me if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you're new to this um, if you're new to my channel please subscribe I do um, perfume videos and perfume related videos at least twice a week um, so yeah, so if this is your kind of thing, you know, subscribe and or comment. Let me know what you think. Okay guys, so that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.